Winning today with a special video card from ATI, Wind Changer CT Match 64. This is a 1996 video card on PCI slot. It's got one megabyte of VRAM, Edo RAM, 64 bits bus width, runs at 40 megahertz on the core clock, 40 megahertz on the memory clock, 800 by 600. It's got no 3D acceleration. It's got basic 2D acceleration in order to start some games in software mode. This is a very interesting video card because back in the days and I was running uh, Dune with this because I couldn't play Warcraft. It was with a 386, not with an Intel Core 2 Extreme QX 6850. It was a very old computer running uh, in a network that didn't have any hard drives with Unix. There was a couple of games there and uh, it was very mesmerizing to see those computers running something. I managed to put my hands on another video card with one megabyte of VRAM. Maybe in the future I can find the upgrade memory that is for this. Maybe I can put it on and see an, another benchmark and see the difference. But until now, the only thing I want to do is start something with this because it's very important to see it running. This is very trippy because it sent me back in time with an old hardware that was from 96. I think it's 96, maybe it's 95. I don't know. Maybe there are some details that I need to find more from this and uh, maybe I can write it down in the description. The best thing I can do for this is just jump in a couple of games and see if it's uh, doing something. For me, this is an achievement. For me personally, this is an achievement to actually see all of them like this. Seriously, look at that. No, no, this is good. This is fantastic. This is not good. This is awesome. So every single time I want to see an old video card like this running, it needs to be with games like this. I'm actually curious uh, how many games I can play with this one megabyte of VRAM. I don't know if it's EdoRAM or a different type of memory. I have zero clue, but it feels very good. I don't have any stats. There are a couple of games that support stats to show, but it will be very advantageous for me to, um, how shall I say, not force everything here. It's very important to validate a video card like this. It's very important to see how it's performing. If you don't have uh, the ability to actually test a video card like yes, this or restore a machine like this and then this idea is not for you yes, i think it's just good to have this uh, as a time machine option i never thought i would put my hands on a video card like this i, will, I actually yeah, thought they are not possible they are very rare or they are very expensive you know so having an one megabyte of vram video card is just it's just impossible to put a price on it and just see it working it feels very priceless in my eyes. Love it, seriously. Love every second here with this. I don't even have to explain why this is important for me. This is one of those games that needs to be added on a, on a computer that uh, is running with a video card like this. It's, it feels the sound effects, the idea of the game, you know, it just feels right in this case. It's running really nice if you're asking me. This is how it needs to be. There's not a lot of things I can do with the GPU like this. If you have only one megabyte of VRAM, considering the pre performance this video card has got, I think this is the right uh, attitude that needs to be uh, pursued it you know 2d games that doesn't require 3d acceleration and this is one of those and it feels nice to have this game on this machine because it's for me it's like a time machine and it keeps disconnecting me from online and it feels very good come on come on remember doing this you have to bottleneck the enemies <laughs> I actually think this is a very, very good, valid answer when somebody's asking you, how old are you? Well, older than Diablo 1. <laughs> Seriously. I remember uh, not with ATI, it was with a, a Sys or something. Cyrus Logic. I have a Cyrus Logic. I don't think Sys has something similar. I think Sys has already direct two megabytes of VRAM already put on it. So he cannot upgrade stuff. I wish I had some stats here with this computer to see how it's performing. It'd be really cool to see the performance this uh, ATI has got here. But I will not complain in a way that, oh, look at that, I can't play the game or can do nothing with this. No, I can find the right games and 
the right attitude for this. It must be on your list if you're interested on having an old machine like this, an old GPU like this. Very nostalgic, very appropriate for this computer. But I can see the FPS, but I don't care about the FPS. Theoretically, this is not something that I would like to benchmark, you know. Even though it would be very interesting to put some numbers on it. The only thing I'm curious is the sound effects and the guns and the gameplay and how it moves. It's ingenious, seriously, to see this running. The resolution, the quality. This is it. This is what brings back nice memories. It feels so surreal to actually be in this game and actually playing it with an old video card, an old computer. Like, I mean, the, the CPU, the computer itself is not very old, so... I think there is a chance so I can build an old, older machine which I can get more uh, performance from, uh, from them. This needs to be on the same category like Doom. So, but the only problem I have, it doesn't feel very snappy. It feels very laggy. You can actually see it's stuttery. Even the sound is stuttery. I, th I have to put low quality in this case. Look. Uh, 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 the sound. <laughs> There's a detail here. I can put it on. Low quality. Look at that. <laughs> it feels like Doom now. Does it go faster? A little faster. Oh my god. Maybe there is screen size or something, no? Maybe I can put it a little smaller because then with low quality I can get different type of performance. See? Holy it hurts my eyes. How about put screen size smaller and put some quality here. here. Seriously, maybe I get this type of performance with this. It feels very wonky to actually play the game with so low FPS with this, but this is the only thing I can do here. Now playing Attack of the Bleach Blonde, Bikers and Bimbos. <laughs> The, the idea is not bad to have this type of games with this. I think for better FPS, I need to upgrade to 2 megabytes of VRAM. I think with 4 megabytes of VRAM, it's going to be even better. The fact that I'm discussing from 1 megabyte to 4 megabytes of VRAM, you have mobile phones that are like hundreds of megabytes and gigs of... It feels just weird to actually say this, seriously. I actually thought it needs more uh, power from the video cards, uh, but apparently it's doing great in this situation I'm playing this game I remember playing it and I was like very mesmerized the moment you put a video card it looks insane not insane it looks fantastic the music is so awesome seriously sounds very sinister I'm creating memes look at him he's doing the job <laughs> You need a bigger treasure room. I don't need a bigger treasure room. You have tunneled into a new area. This is the most awesome thing I can put on this video card to play this dungeon keeper. It's it's not bad, seriously. I forgot about the game, how to play it. But all of the sudden, it feels very good to see it like this. Overall performance with this is fantastic. To see this combination, this computer running like this, is not bad. It just puts me back in time with this. I can't believe that I'm playing with an ATI video card with one megabyte of VRAM this game. It just feels so surreal to actually see it running like this. One game that I used to play was Fallout. And I think in a situation like this, with a video call like this, I think it's just appropriate to have it uh, on. You know, this game, this video card, this computer. I mean, the CPU itself doesn't help, you know, but uh, most of the time you'll end up with a specific playlist of games in order to get uh, entertained by something like this. Retro, it means... Uh, uh, putting older titles for this so in a case like this see it's doing okay but uh, you definitely need to put uh, fallout in order to have some uh, justification for this this is a good game I, rem I remember back in the days playing it so much and i had similar hardware so now i get to do the same thing you know i don't want to I should say, is, is, I don't want to get old, seriously, because I stopped playing games. I still want to play games. We're not old because you are still playing the game and you get old when you stop playing the game, no? All games like this are kind of fantastic. Helps me disconnect from everything and they work really nice with this type of hardware. So not a big problem on uh, giving them some tasks that uh, 
or not very demanding. It feels like it needs to be a rule for this type of hardware. You need to play this game. If you don't want something specific, if you're not expecting this uh, hardware to run super uh, fast with some uh, high-end gaming, you're gonna see that if you're playing games like this, it's gonna be kind of cool. It does offer me sometimes uh, some nice entertainment with uh, an old video card like this, but it all depends on you, on what you expect, you know, from this computer. It's, it's like, Heroes of Might it is good because it's uh, procedural generated maps and it allows me to play some uh, random maps and I can get some different type of performance from this, you know. In a way, I like this because it's it's good you know it's it's good for randomness i used to play this game a lot and every single time i was playing it it was like the first time i'm playing it like every single time it was like the first time it makes no sense why i was liking this game so much i don't know seriously feels like a memory muscle every single time i enter the game it's just i know where to click and, it, and it, this is the the part that i like about it you know because every single time i'm choosing a game like this it's like you know what i've been here and i want this and i, I want to i want to play more there's no discussion games like this are the most important one for a video card like this for a computer for an old computer like this need for speed 3 with this it's magical seriously i think that if you have a proper video card with this game it's gonna be even magical but the only thing that you have to put in consideration is uh, what type of hardware do you want to use? If you want to play some games with uh, a video card like this, I mean, it doesn't influence too much because this is 2D acceleration, you know, the GPU. This is software mode and uh, it doesn't impact too much. It just needs uh, some display adapter in order to get this. But if it's got 3D acceleration, you can actually see in some situation that is working. Ideal would be to be in the same year with the game because then it's compatible and it's got some really nice quality to it. But even like this in software mode you can see that you can have some fun and for me to have it and seeing it like this i'm like yes please it influenced me a lot you know every single time i'm going online and i'm looking for old cars you know it's, i'm not buying old car i'm just looking at them because of games like this you know imagine lamborghini contouche or an uh, sl 600 you know you're looking at them and you're like wow i used to play that type of game you know you look at a ferrari or a spy or something like that and you're like you're looking at them and you're like you know what if i had stupid money you know i would have said you know what i'm why not buy contrash or why not buy an sr 600 because this is the game that i had when i was a kid and i, I knew i didn't have the money you know so a game like this it's influencing me when there's a lot of people that manage to be influenced by this i still want to play older games like this you know and uh, they feel more entertaining than some stupid games that needs to be uh, in my computer with a subscription i don't want to subscribe i want to buy the cd i want to insert the cd and i have some fun with this because it's kind of cool to see it running with an old hardware like this it feels more satisfying this game than uh, uh, the new ones i don't know for me maybe for somebody else too but uh, in this situation i really like how it's uh, giving me some games like this and i like it seriously i like this idea this uh, ATI with one megabyte of vram is got <laughs> I, I don't know what I, I don't know if i said at the beginning but i don't know the 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 type of the memory is got but uh, i'm 100 percent sure i will look for an upgrade for this i will write it on i will get it on I look for uh, international ebay or some shops that uh, sells the stuff and i will do another video about uh, inserting it and see if what type of performance i have maybe maybe i get lucky so in a situation like this yeah i can't say nothing bad about it because it's actually doing the job so i will take this as a big w you know because i like the game i like that it's working so the only thing i can say hmm, more please this is something that i would not recommend to you this is not for uh everybody i think this is for nostalgia only and uh, in the future this type of hardware is not going to be available to general public seriously there's all there will be only a handful of video cards like this on the market to have it on the shelf you know as a collectible and that's it if you're interested that specific 
reason you have to go now on on the market and actually get them because they will be scarce that's it is it is going to be if how many times you you are gonna end up saying yeah i'm video cards or something like that every time you go online and you see oh the new md video card is on you know one megabyte ati video card <laughs> it's so funny to actually say <laughs> no, seriously yeah 64 gig of vram gpu one megabyte of vram gpu <laughs> I should say you're canceling everything, you know. So, oh, this video card has got eight gig of VRAM, and it, compared to the four gig VRAM, it's it's nothing, you know. That 16 gig is doing better. That 32 gig is doing better, you know. 24 gig, one megabyte of VRAM. Seriously, <laughs> this beats uh, everything. Seriously, the only way you can beat it is by getting a video card that has half a megabyte. There's a couple of ESA models, 256, you know, like super low display adapters. Those are the ones that I want to find in the future because of bragging rights. Nothing else, not performance, just bragging rights. Like I said, this is only for collectible. But uh, definitely I would like some suggestion if you have with that memory, memory type, or maybe some games in the future, what to put on it. But until then, stay safe, smack that like button, and as usual, I will see you very soon.